as an artist, you're not rich, but you have a rich life. Not that I'm saying you should do it for free, but sometimes it is really difficult and sometimes it's great. You know? I guess at the moment being a writer, it's really good. So <laughs> it's kind of tricky, isn't it? Mm. In this industry, in being a writer, it's, it's up and down. Perhaps being an artist, you're just naturally optimistic and every now and then you kind of take a hit <laughs> and you kind of drop down and then you kind of bounce back up again. Stupidly or not, you know. <laughs> mm. I don't think there's any more difficulties than anywhere else in Australia. Often in Newcastle there's a feeling that people want to try things, want to try new things. That can actually be a great thing. You can write the plays and if the plays don't get on then you've sort of done part of the journey but you haven't fulfilled it. The rest of the journey is seeing the play produced and, you know, on stage. I think for me, lifestyle and career are very much intertwined. I think if I'm more relaxed and more kind of happy with the way things are, and you know, my family is really important to me, then if I feel good about that and secure in that way, I think that can only be a benefit to my career, to my writing. Being able to tell stories and create is a great privilege.